working with. Um, just to get us started, there are more things that I'm gonna pull in, but not too many more. Um, so first I'm gonna start out with um, all of these here are the Urban Decay Lip Vices and they're aging out. Um, so what I need to do, I'm gonna be decluttering them, but I wanna keep one for reference. Um, probably it should be a red, because that's what really shows up. Um, so I believe I'm gonna keep this one. Um, also, this is one of the new Urban Decay formulations. This one looks more like a uh, lip, like a vinyl. Um, not necessarily my favorite, especially if I'm comparing it to this. This is like near perfection. Um, that's why I have it in so many colors. Um, so we'll keep these two and then these, um, I like the different packaging, you know, I'd almost want to keep that just for, for funsies, but I don't really need to. Um, this is a darker, darker shade also. Um, but anyway, so we'll pull these out. And this one is just a regular shade, but it was in a limited edition packaging. Um, is why it looks different. Uh, these also were in uh, one unlimited edition run. I'm very sad to see this go. Um, it's a really great formula. Uh, so that's deep, deep sadness. All right. So then what we've got is lip stains. Um, we've got ColourPop. Uh, this is if you can see that, the, from the Peter Pan collection. Um, and I like all of these. Um, they're, they're good. I would swatch all these things, but I'm not wanting to swatch stains. So you're just gonna have to take it for, for granted. So I wanna keep those three. Um, these are the Fenty Lip, the Poutsicles. Um, stains, I have three of them, and then I got one of the uh, limited edition. Um, so these are, are going to stay. I think maybe if these are just by themselves, maybe we'll move this up in the packaging. And um, the only one I did not get was the, the red. Okay, so there's four of those total. Um, this is one of the, the Beauty Bakery. Uh, this is my Surreptitious, uh, which I love because of the punniness of it. Um, and then I have two of the... Uh, the balm, these are great, great lip stains, very wearable colors. Um, this, let's see, we've got Ola and we've got Konnichiwa, and Konnichiwa is my favorite. This is a really wearable, beautiful color. Uh, so we'll bring these guys here. Um, and if I run out of space, I may need to rethink this guy, um, but here we are now. Okay, so then. These were stains, and since we've gotten rid of some of them, um, let's see about putting these guys down down here. We may, because that's going to be top heavy. Let's build from this direction instead. And these guys will be on the top. Um, now I do have, uh, that's been in the drawer, um, the liquid lips, but I think I have too many to really go in here. Um, these are the, um, from one size, uh, it has gloss on the end and the liquid lip on the other. Um, but maybe we'll just keep that open for right now because um, I have uh, four of those and then one that goes in my display uh, option. So um, let's move this just for right now and we can take a look in the overflow to see what I have extra of. Um, so let's see. Um, I don't really have anything that qualifies as a liquid lipstick, it doesn't look like. So we may be rethinking uh, what we're putting there uh, for that. Okay, so let's let's rethink that then. Um, we have this size in glosses, 
that maybe this would be a good place to put that. Um, it just, it does mess up my, my thinking about, about these things. So maybe we'll go here. This is the boring part of this, is the moving around of everything. <laughs> okay. And let's try out what it would be like if these guys were here, if these liquid lips lived here. Um, and I have the other one that is the the Disney, uh, but it's in my display display one because I like to show this, the Mickey and the bread. So we're gonna leave that where it's at. Um, okay, maybe we'll come back to that because I, I wanna try and keep things together. I don't have a lot of liquid lips. And then these are all glosses, so I don't really have a lot of liquid lip. So maybe, maybe we'll stay with this for the moment. Um, let's move these guys to the bottom. These are a bit, a bit larger. Okay, and then we could do the. 2KVD. Um, so I, I love these formulas. This is the most bulletproof that I have is the KVD liquid lip. Um, this is the, the Maybelline and this one smells like a, a creamy um, coffee caramel sort of uh, a fragrance. Um, I ended up decluttering all the rest of them because I'm ending up having a problem with the Maybelline fragrancing, um, but this one came through. Um, so maybe let's put that there and then surreptitious, maybe that'll go in uh, with my other, uh, I have another liquid lipstick that I'm keeping for a name, uh, which is one of the Nobla ones. So we'll put that here. Um, so let's move this out here for right now. Okay, and let's bring in glosses. Because this other one here, this is mostly lipsticks. Uh, the gloss hanging out there just for fun. Poor funsies. Okay, so this is a buxom gloss. This is the only one I have of this. Uh, and then this is a Pat, is this a Pat McGrath? Uh, no. This is a Shana B Miami is what this is. Um, so we're gonna try and put things that I only have one of here. Um, then these are the from Alice in Wonderland and Cinderella. So the Disney collabs with Sigma. Um, so we'll try and fit these over here. There's two, two Alice in Wonderland and one Cinderella. Um, the other one with the Cinderella was a liquid lip. Um, and it ne wasn't necessarily my favorite. I think it may have come over here. Uh, but we'll see in a second. Um, okay. Then this is Glam Light. This is the Glam Light and Michaela. Uh, so Glam Light, I have a number of of their lip. So these are in the like there's a Frappuccino, a caramel, hot chocolate. Is this one? Okay. So that's a food based. Um, then we have, this is the Michaela. This is the gloss from the Strawberry Shortcake. Um, let's see, we have more glosses over here. You're not able to see this, but. Okay, so we have two glosses from the Rick and Morty, and then one from the uh, Scooby-Doo collection, the Velma. Um, so the, these guys can go here. And then this one, this is the Pat McGrath. So we've got one of those. And 
We have some ColourPop that we're working with, um, but I think we'll come back to that. Um, so we have right now, these are two of the Bare Minerals. These are some of my favorites of the colors. Um, these are probably aging out, um, unfortunately, because I really did like these. Um, but I think I need to, to look at those for aging purposes. Um, so these guys will go over here. Okay, and that was kind of sad. I really liked those. So let's move that McGrath over here. Um, these are the Maybelline glosses, um, and I have three of those. So if we can do one, two, and three. And then this is the So Glossy ColourPop. And I might want to just leave extra space for myself. So these um, these are in the uh, the Lux Lux lip oils. Uh, I think it's Hot Spark uh, Playa Vista, <laughs> which is right next door to us. Uh, we are Playa Vista adjacent. Uh, I can't see what this one. This is one for the oh Platinum Blonde. This is a great color from the. Uh, there's a collab. And I didn't get the palettes or any of that, but this Platinum Blonde is a great color. Um, and then this is from the Winnie the Pooh collection. And I just kept one of them. Uh, so those are collabs. And lip oil. So we've got a little space, which is good. Um, we're going to want to bring that in, in a little bit later here. Um, so we'll leave, leave that for the moment with a little bit of space for gloss. Um, and then we're coming in this over here. Now with lipstick. Um, so this is a ColourPop and this is like, like a sheer, but that has color to it. Um, and I, I really like these. Um, they have a little bit of fragrance to them, but I don't mind it. Um, so I'm actually going to put this over here because the formulation is closer to that. Um, and now lipsticks. So part of the issue, some of the, the lipsticks are, are things, I don't mind the lipstick itself, I like it, but I'm loving the packaging of it. Um, these two are good, good lipsticks. This is more bodied, this is Sigma, um, and this is Hourglass, but I really, this is fun, the packaging. And this is a, a pretty formula, um, but it's not something that I really, it's got a nice finish to it. It's just like a velvet sheen to it, um, like a satin sort of a, a thing. It's a pretty color, uh, but I just was not moved to pick up other, um, other shades. Uh, so I have not, this is I think Sahara. Yeah, Sahara. Um, but I do have this for the, the decorative purposes of that. Um, so that's staying, the Sigma staying. Um, these are interesting packaging with the teardrop shapes. And this formula is more has more body to it. Um, and a little less shine, but it's also very nice um, from a formula perspective. Um, and just interesting packaging. Okay, and this one is, I think, Deja Vu. Let's double check. No, it's Temptation. Okay, so that's Temptation. Um, I have a number of lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, and I need to pull them out. Some of them I absolutely wear all, all the time uh, with no, no questions asked. Um, so this one is 1975's Red. Um, this was something that was a, a gift with purchase. Um, so it's not it's not a bad color for me, but it's not something that I can just pull out and feel like I can just slather on and not need to do anything with it. Um, so I'm gonna try and put my reds in a try me. Um, so this one is uh, 
the walk of no shame which i love i can it's a more berry tone and i can absolutely wear it anytime uh, this one is island dream this was a a limited edition i think uh kind of collab uh, but this is one that's so beautiful on me and i can just throw it on and it's it's lovely uh, so we're gonna be keeping that the walk of no shame uh, now this which one is this i think this is the chic pink The kissing formula yep and it's chic pink uh, it has the sparkly casing and this is also one of those you can just throw on it's really pretty all right so the chic pink the island dream and the walk of no shame are absolutely goes now these are, are ones from the uh, Chinese New Year collection uh, which I love the packaging, but again, I need to take a look at the the reds and see how how wearable each one of these is. Because technically, um, you could refill these, um, but so I could put a different color in them because I do like the packaging. But part of the the reason of having them is the exciting red shades. Um, and then here is this one. Um, this one was. Only Muse. I like that red. And just so you can have a an idea, then this is the super wearable, the Walk of No Shame. So it's just it's a little darker, more berry. But it's just it's still nice but it's not too dark um so it's a no no fuss sort of a, a shade for me so okay so we're gonna leave those there um some of the and then these guys we'll just we'll put in a pile to take a look at um all right so then some of these lipsticks i've had for a while this is a little rock um and I've, I've had it a long time so I think probably this needs to to get into the, the to-go pile because it's just, it's aging out. It was a nice lipstick though. Okay. Um, now these, these are from ColourPop. Let's take a look at the, the colors we've got. And this is a nice kind of velvety formula. And this one is... I can't read what it says. Okay, so we're gonna have to look at this later under the magnifying glass. Um, so that looks kind of the same. Let's, we'll take a look at these two. The The formulation is nice. It doesn't have any fragrance. The, the packaging is a little, I think these were from the Disney, the princess collections but I'll have to take a look at those um, things that I just got and put in my collection the two lip shades from the glam light and Hershey's collection uh, these were great these are definitely definitely staying De judge Whopper De definitely definitely okay um, put that over here for right now um, and then other things that are probably in the aging out this is one of the bare minerals and this was a nice, just everyday, everyday shade. Um, but I feel like that's getting old also. Um, so I'm gonna be removing this one from the collection. And this is really why I needed to do this because I was getting a lot of things that were like, I knew they were aging out. Um, the Vice ones were just making me sad and I didn't wanna do it. And um, this is Laura Geller. Um, so I think, I think maybe I have other shades like this. Um, her formulation's nice. Um, the packaging, nice. Closure. Um, I need to check. So this is gonna be going into the need to check pile uh, for that. Um, so this is Kosas. 
This is one of the deeper shades. I never reach for this though. I never reach for that. Um, it still smells good. Um, maybe I should just look at this because it. I think it's still good. It's just a question of, it's kind of vampy shade. Um, would I reach for it? Um, it has the magnetic packaging. This shade is Dark Room. Uh, so let's put that in the pile to take a look at. Um, now these, uh, these are gonna be from Urban Decay. Um, these are the metallic ones and I really liked. I, I ended up decluttering a number of these just because I felt they were aging out. Um, this one still, still smells good. I really like the way it looks, um, but I do need to check these for for aging purposes because both of these are going to be going to be old. But that metallic, I don't find metallics all the time that I really love. Um, so when I found them, because it's like it's a berry metallic and a more this is more red metallic. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna look at those. Okay. And then this is ColourPop. This is one of the Star Wars. And I may end up moving this to the, to my decorative central piece. Again, a real vampy look. Um, there was a couple of other shades, um, but I really felt like this was the most interesting for my collection. Um, so I'm going to put this over here to maybe move to the decorative pile. Okay. Um, now this one, um, this is my favorite Milani. Um, let me clean off my, my swatches so we can start over. Um, but it's it's a shade that when this one ages out, I'll probably rebuy it because um, I like it that much. Okay. So this one is a Dolce. Uh, Caramello, Dulce, and it's just a really, really beautiful color. Not necessarily swatching good on my, okay, there we go. <laughs> but it's just a really wearable, beautiful color. Still smells good, um, and I would repurchase this if I lost my collection. I would repurchase that. Um, now this is from Too Faced, and this is in their chocolate collection. I believe this is hot chocolate. No, this is ganache. Okay. So this is nice, heavy packaging, um, and it's a very pretty color. And it's just in that chocolate. Um, I may need to look at my chocolate sort of ones to see. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, to see if I have all the same shades, because if all my chocolate ones look the same, I could probably go through and, and do other ones. Um, this is from the the Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake. Um, I feel like this is this has got to go into the decorative part because it's just super cute. Um, the shade itself doesn't look great on me, really. I think maybe if I played around with different lip liners. Um, it might, but it's really more of that, that day glow strawberry. I could do strawberry girl with this, um, put a little gloss on top of that. And I do have the strawberry shortcake gloss, wherever that was, uh, here, strawberry shortcake gloss, uh, for that. So I feel like this guy needs to go be more decorative, uh, cause that's half of the fun of this. <clears throat> okay. Now it's Pat McGrath. Um, I believe this is subversive. What is it? Again, I wish I could read things. Um, it is sedition. Okay, this is a fantastic red. Um, it's a fantastic name, fantastic red. Again, very vampy, but really lovely. Um, so it's a red, not one that I'm gonna wear all the time, but I really loved it. Uh, it makes me feel less bad about getting rid of the Kosas that aged out just because it's really, I'm going to pick up a red. Um, this is from the Michaela in Glamlight. The lighter ones of these were just super light, like uh, concealer lips for me. But I really like this, and this is very wearable, very easy to just throw on. Um, a little light packaging. It has the, the click-in, but it was very nice. Um, so these have come from the Barbie collection. 
um, in Glamlet. I really loved the Barbie collection. Um, I loved the palette. I loved the lip gloss. I loved the lipsticks and the lip liners uh, as makeup. Um, the, the eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner, I did not keep. Um, just because it was something that I don't really, I have, I think, two liquid liners, maybe three, and I don't use them all that often. But, so I kept two out of the three lipsticks from the Barbie collection. So more pink and then more brownie. <clears throat> so there's those two. And um, then this, I don't remember what this is from. And it's completely black, like, that I can't see with. So this is a mystery lipstick. Um, oh, this is from the Scooby-Doo collection. Okay, so this is also Glamlight, this is Scooby-Doo. And this is why I'm doing this too, because if I'm having things that I have no idea what they're from, I'm just like, I don't even recognize this. Um, super black packaging, there's the, the spider webs. Um, so, <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at that. This is, the Scooby-Doo was not my favorite of the Glamlight collections, but it's still very nice. And so let's put that there and then I'll try and remember to wear that to check it out. Um, and then this is the other one from the Glamlight Scooby-Doo. Also very vampy. I don't know, cause it's close to the Sedition. It's a little more berry. Um, I'm probably going to need to look at those, but for right now, um, let's move, let's move these guys so all my glam light can live together and be friends for right now. Okay. I'll put that back over so I can know what it is. Okay. So let's see. Charlotte will need to, to make some decisions on, but let's put that there. Um, Sigma having here hourglass will put you here for now um <clears throat> now we do have a whole bunch of different other lipsticky products um so we're going to take a look at those um the first we have is the lh cosmetics these is the the fantastics that are both lip and cheek and that one i believe is pop Pop. And see, this one is cultured. Okay, that's cultured. That's very wearable. Um, the pop is more pinky, but like cultured, I would feel really good about just throwing on. Now this is from the Lawless collection, the Juicy Watermelon, and it's more of a, a glossy with just a hint of color. Um, love the scent of that, uh, and it has some of the pouting sort of attributes. Um, I feel like this is a formulation that I'm going to put over here uh, for right now because it's less like lipstick and more like a, a gloss. Um, but here's the Lawless Lipstick. Um, I've got two of these. Uh, this one is the 90s. Okay, that's the 90s. And then I just got Tropic, um, and I love it. It's been really nice. Um, so let's go. Because I can imagine myself picking up another, another lipstick from from them. I don't know where it went. Okay, so I do have another lipstick. It would go here. Let's see if we can find it. Um, oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the packaging of that. And this one I bought because I saw Angelica Nyquist wearing it and I love the color and it's really pretty on. Um, the thing is it's got the, the filler, you know, make your lips fuller it's matte and when it after a long time of wearing it it will show my texture so this is a one that um i love the color love the way it looks at first after a while i want to pop a gloss on on top of it um, but it's it's a good lipstick 
anyway, but, um, okay, so these are glosses. I'm looking back here. Um, so this is, I'm just coming in with stuff that's loose. Uh, this is the ColourPop with the Snow White collection with the Evil Queen. And that's another berry that I really like. Um, I need to test my berries. So I'm gonna put that in the test pile. And um, this is Linda Halberg. And this is another one that is in that formula of more of a, now this doesn't dry down like the Urban Decay, but it is really pretty and it looks more like a vinyl, a lip vinyl for that. So that's a really cool one. Um, I'm gonna put this over here because it's more of that strange category. Does it fit? Oh, it doesn't hardly fit. Okay, so this is gonna have to be something else with it because I, I do wanna keep it, um, but it's looking like it's not happening. Um, these are the glosses from the Barbie and Glamlight. Um, again, I kept two, I believe. So they're just really pretty glosses. It's, you're not gonna see much. They're kind of pinky glosses. Um, really nice glosses. So maybe it's not like high fashion that you whip the Barbie out of your purse, but they're really good glosses. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my swatches again. part okay and we do have glosses over here the glam light Hershey glosses um, and you can see in my glam light Hershey video um, how much I'm enjoying those um, this is a problem because I've been wearing these I don't know where the other one is um, but the one from the cookies and cream is somewhere because uh, I've been wearing it constantly so it can go over here um, and maybe that'll be the other spot for it then, um, for the, the glam light. Um, now as far as we have the Chucky collection, these are really great lipsticks. Um, the only thing I didn't like about these is the packaging smelled like plastic. And that's kind of, it's gone away by now, but when I first got it, I didn't love it. Um, but these are now uh, the glam light Chucky collection is available right now at CVS. Um, so you can get the lip kits, um, pencil, just really, really nice. Um, the Tiffany's more red, the Chucky's more on the brownish, brownie nude, um, but they're fun. I uh, don't love the packaging, again, because it's, I, you know, I'm not trying to be edgy. <laughs> I'm not trying to be edgy. Oh, and this is the other from the Snow White but more of the, the red, red. Uh, so we'll put this in the, <clears throat> to take a look at. Um, and this is from Glam Light and Scooby-Doo. This is the Velma. And this is a great, great lip color in the orangey coral category. Um, and that's really fun. And I like the gloss too of the Velma. Um, so that one's, that one's saying, this one might be Maybe we'll put that in it because it could go here, but maybe we'll we'll see about something else. Um, okay, so I have a lot of uh, Lisa Eldridge. So this is Lisa Eldridge gloss. Um, nice, really nice formula. I don't know that it's worth it, the cost of it, especially when I have a whole bunch of other things that are really nice in gloss. Um, but it was nice, and this this doesn't really fit either. It's too too chunky for it. Um, and this is a space I'm saving for the Glam Light other one. Um, okay, so then now I have Lisa Eldridge and these lipsticks, the, the Velvet Cinnabar, really pretty formulation, very pretty color, um, very pretty packaging. Really like that. Um, we have Atomic Cherry. And this is, it was a fun, fun summer color, the Atomic Cherry was. Um, and something different. I don't have a lot of these kind of things in my collection. And then we have Velvet Carnival. Also, color I don't have a lot of in my collection. Very bright. Sorry, I got it into the Atomic Cherry. 
It's a very bright formulation that's nice. And then this one is Velvet Duchess. So this is in more of that cool tone. So that's the Velvet Duchess. Really nice lip colors. Um, again, this is probably fall. We'll be wearing more of that in the fall. Um, so that's kind of the, the lipsticks. Oh, this is the other gloss of Barbie. I thought I had I'd given that up, but okay, let's put that so they can stay there together with the glam light. Um, let's move that, the Pat McGrath. Um, I think can we put in, no, we cannot. All right, so this can maybe go in my, in my, on my desk. Uh, I have in my desk drawer, I have a couple of lip colors that I can just slide on uh, for Zoom calls. And this is probably a good one for that. Um, so maybe that'll go into the desk for that. Okay, so lipsticks, we're doing pretty good. Um, I have some ColourPop that I'm testing. Um, these are in the new, like the Ultra Matte, uh, the Ultra uh, Matte, and the Ultra Glossy. So I'm gonna be testing these out. And um, so we'll put these, maybe the testing guys over here. Sorry for all the clunking. And then just as far as where to put these that are just for formulation that I'm keeping uh, track of, um, but I'm probably not going to wear. So there you have it for that. Okay. Okay. So over here and um, I also have one other liquid lipstick um, that this is a this is actually a mini size of the KVD this is what used to be Lolita um, and have renamed so um, that would go over here but because it's a mini let's let's put this over here it might go into the desk um, but it's that liquid lip that is bulletproof so it's really nice that way okay so Let's go to liners. Okay, and we have assorted other products. Um, so let me pull out the other lip colors that don't really fall into line into this sort of arrangement. So now we've got just liners um, with this. So this one I think I'm gonna put in my desk. I don't love how inexact, and you can sharpen these, but like it's a big pain. Um, and, but this is, this is a very wearable color. This is Laura Mercier, by the way. Um, See, so it's just very, very light, sort of a color, a wash of color. Um, and it doesn't matter if it goes outside the line. So this is Ella. Um, we're gonna put that in the desk. Um, this is the Rare Beauty. They're supposedly a lip oil, but this was not, this is a lip stain. Um, I don't consider it an oil at all. Um, it's more of a lip stain. It's not my favorite. I think that it might be one that I wanna keep for formulation, but I don't really reach for this. So we're gonna put that right there for now. Um, NARS, I've got two of these. One of them I believe is Dolce Vita. And they don't make these easy to see. Yeah, Dolce Vita and Voltage, I think, is what we've got. Yeah, okay. So these are shiny lip formula. <clears throat> the advertising was great on these. Um, so this one, see, it's more shiny. It's reflective of the light. And then Dolce Vita. Um, some of the Dolce Vita ends up looking good on me and some of it doesn't. Um, I really need to take a look at that. Um, so the, the Dolce Vita is gonna go, the blush of this, um, I ended up 
passing on because it just wasn't the right color. But I'll just need to look at this and see if this formula um, with this, that if it works for me. So let me put that in test, the test pile. Um, the Laura Mercier, the high, high vibe, the color, um, the peak pop, and I have one other. Um, but you see how easy those go on and how colorful they are. Um, they're really great that way. Um, so you're getting a lot of color payoff. Nice slim, quick in. Um, that one was pop. Um, this one is burst. And again, you can see how just slippy and colorful they are. Um, I don't know that like uh, Sephora is carrying these anymore, um, but I really like these. I just didn't see them the last time I looked. Um, so we're gonna put those back in, this one back in, and uh, oh, this is the peak, peak one. Um, I wore this in a video just a little bit ago at my Turner is damaged somehow, but anyway, the, the peak is just really wearable. Very pretty color. Okay, so those guys are going back in the Laura Mercier. Um, these are the Maracuja, uh, the Tarte, the uh, lipsticks, the Juicy lipsticks. Um, same kind of thing, they're a little bit longer than the uh, Laura Mercier ones. But I ended up liking these. The formulation's nice, they feel good. Um, I need to go through and look at colors on the lips because um, I liked the the colors, I like the formulation. I just don't know that I need to keep all of them. And that's more of a, a brown. And these are really hard for me to read the colors and I apologize about that. Um, I just had a, an eye procedure last week, so. Um, okay, there's that one. I got a spring and summer uh, one from QVC. So they had a three pack. And there we go. Okay. All right, so we have a lot of this. So these, these are gonna stay. These are ones that I could see using through in my collection, um, but I don't know that I need all the colors, but they're a formulation that I could see using up. Um, eventually. Okay, so then let me take out the liners. And we have liners here. And let me remove swatches real quick. And so liners, I find that I end up just using the same liners over and over again, but I want to be different. And so I'm keeping some around more than I, I think maybe that I should. Um, just because I'm trying to figure out if I were to use more liners more often, what would I what would I be using? Um, <clears throat> so let me go through what I what I think I know is getting decluttered because I just have not been been using them. And um, these are my essence uh, ones, I believe, for the the exaggerate. No, sorry, Rimmel exaggerate. And these are, they're great liners, but I just, I haven't been reaching for them. And I feel like I just, I'm not, and I don't know why. But so I think these are gonna go. Um, now the, the Rare Beauty, um, these were great colors. I love the ethos of her line. The only thing is these are kind of like the uh, the lip balms and they have a little bit of a fragrancing to them and um, so I'm not I'm not smelling them now so it could be that they've dissipated since I got them and um, so those we'll keep an eye on we'll just keep an eye on those um, I got from one size this is the busty brown And I want to try and use that a little more. Um, I got a number of 
of the new Color Winces from the ColourPop. So let me see. Okay, there's my other, the new one size. So this is, uh, or sorry, you guys, Pink Remix. Not Busty Brown, Busty Brown is the eye. Uh, so this is Prime Fish. They're not as creamy, they're more firm eyeliners, or sorry, lip liners, but I do like them. Uh, so we're gonna put that there, and I think I have one, one other one. I feel very old right now. It's like I'm going through, going, I think I've got this. Um, let's see, let me turn this around. Okay, so this, because it keeps them from lower to higher. Um, this is another one size, this is out of line. Love to hear that, because it means they're staying fresh. Uh, so that's out of line. And then ride ready. Okay, so those right there are all my one size. Um, so we're keeping those. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, this is the, the Walk of No Shame, I believe. New size, yeah, Walk of No Shame. Love this color. So that's Walk of No Shame on the end. And then this is Lisa Eldridge. This one is Sorcery. sorcery and that's a little cool toned um i really like her formula but i may end up passing this along just because of the cool tone nature of it um but it fits with the the gloss uh that i got so we'll maybe wait on that um so this one also this is charlotte tilbury so maybe we'll we'll move lisa over a little bit so we can put charlotte charlotte next to charlotte and um, this is pillow talk medium um Pillow Talk itself, the, the lighter one, is just too light for me. Um, it makes me look washed out and dead, but pillow, uh, the medium is really nice. So we've got Walk of No Shame in that one. Um, okay, now this is the, the Laura Geller. Um, I just, this is, I don't reach for this one. Um, I haven't I've had it for a long time. It's good formula, I um, just have not reached for it. Right there. Um, so now I'm going to go through. So I've got some glam light ones that I love. Um, the ones that came out with the. So we'll just go through this. Okay. And then Rick and Morty, these. These pencils are closer to lip colors, like how to explain that, you know what I mean? Um, you, the way this formulation is, is this one's a very creamy formulation, and this could be something that you just fill your entire lip with. Um, but I really have loved what they've done with lips for Glamlight. Really love their formulation, and I can't get this open. Uh, let me put something down. Okay. And this is the very berry purple from Rick and Morty. Um, so those I love the Chucky and Tiffany lip liners. Um, they're more in that red and brown category. I gotta stop swatching because I'm gonna be here forever. Um, but the, the Frosted Flakes collection, um, this one here, I've loved so much. This was my favorite of the summer um, for last year. And just love it, it's just the perfect, perfect brown. Uh, so this one is more pink. And these with the, the liners are firmer liner. Um, now the Barbie liners, I have all of them. Let's see. 
and I have a whole video on on these so with the Barbie collection so maybe we'll just put Lisa Eldridge back here um, so the glam light and then the two from the the Hershey's collection um, and I don't know where I put the other one uh, I use it all the time so it's probably in my box to use uh, this is the Michaela from the Michaela collection so we'll put it here um, this guy I think we're gonna figure out some place to put it because I'm heavy rotation right now um, so now Linda Hallberg these liners are fantastic they're so so creamy and completely bulletproof once you get those on and they set um, and you just pick a color that you like um, and it, they're just lovely you would not be sad if you tried these out uh, from Linda Hallberg um, now we've got some this is from Colourpop from the uh, Cinderella not Cinderella sorry uh, Snow White collection I'm gonna put this in to try since my lipstick is in the to try section and then this is an Urban Decay liner that I got to go with uh, Pop from the Laura Mercier because um, it's kind of in that same hot pink fuchsia sort of color and I wanted the liner to go with it um, so I got that um, this is uh, I'm sorry this is Bad Blood uh, my other one is a pink one so let me see where I, I don't know where to put that okay that's the Lisa Eldridge okay this is the uh, Hex from Urban Decay. Hex. And then this is the pink one, Jilted. Sorry. So Jilted is the one that I got to go with Pop from Laura Mercier in the pink department. Okay, there we go. Pink. Okay, so there's my Urban Decay. And then this is another Linda Hallberg. This is uh, the crayon and cherry, I think. No. It's the only gripe I have with the Linda Hallberg is that they don't, like some of them, you can't find the, the names of the actual color on them. Uh, but they're so creamy and wonderful. Like you wouldn't be sad if you got a Linda Hallberg liner. You just wouldn't. Okay, so let me put Michaela over here. Let's move these guys in. Actually, let me move these to the, the trying because I need to, to make sure that they don't have the fragrancing for that. Um, so we'll put my two Linda Halberg and then two of the Glam Light. And I have two spaces in this for more to come back in. Um, so that's great. All right, so then we're back to the last two pieces, two categories. This is decorative. Um, so I do use these, um, but they're also function as, as decorative pieces. Um, we're almost done, kids. Okay, so this is a Pat McGrath from Bridgerton. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury in J.K. Darling. And then this, I just love the, the packaging in it. Um, it this is from Oma, and it says a badass does not talk about being a badass and I just thought that was great um, the it's really super matte uh, and the shade is just too cool for me um, cool toned <laughs> it's just too cool for me man uh, but anyway this is for strictly decorative purposes at this point um, this one I keep for decorative purposes is Too Faced and has the, the uh, peach on top um, the thing itself the the color wasn't necessarily my best it's not bad um but it's mainly for decorative and you can only really enjoy the decorative part of it if you can see the top so it would be better suited to actually go in my lipstick in my lipstick collection here uh, so let me see let's put it there okay um, so then we have uh, more of the Pat McGrath. I love this formula. These are actually ones that um, I tend to have in my purse. Uh, the, the nude one 
This is Nude Venus. Uh, this is so shiny and pretty and wearable, and I have it. I have one in my purse and one here as a back stock. So, but I love it. But it's not necessarily decorative. Um, this is in a Divine Rose. Divine Rose 2. So this is the deeper, deeper of those, but they're really, really pretty on. Um, I think these probably need to move where they're more in rotation than just decorative at this point. Um, so this uh, is from Nabla. Uh, this is from Nabla and this is from Nabla. I have not been wearing these as much. Um, I need to think about whether or not these need to get swapped out. Um, but anyway, that's what's there. And then I have a center hole in the middle. Um, I think we'll put the, the Daphne here. Um, you can't really see it, that's a problem. Um, would it work? That one does not fit. Okay. Um, so then these, this is the Disney of the one size. And then I like being able to display the, the Mickey here. Um, this is uh, Too Faced Stocks and Bondage. Um, it's a little gritty of a formula, but I love the name and I like the color, um, but also for, for decoration. Um, this one I've been keeping, this is uh, from Ofra, and this is from that start inspired, uh, it's called Story, uh, that Amanda, sorry Amanda, uh, Samantha March uh, did. So that's kind of, as a writer, kind of been, for me, inspirational. Um, let me see if one of these guys fits in it. Yeah, that's not going to fit there. Um, so I think that one will probably have that stay there. Um, this is from The Mandalorian, the Baby Yoda, this ColourPop. Um, so I, I love this. Uh, so those guys are staying. And then this is from the, the Star Wars collection. Uh, so this is the, the lipstick from that. This is the gloss. Um, this probably, as far as decorative stuff goes, that makes more sense. Uh, you can't really see it, but you might. Um, there's nothing in the top of this one that really does it. So this could probably go in, in glosses. Um, this can stay over here for now. Um, so we have this one still. I'm not finding a place for her. So sad. Um, and then the last one, the decorative, is this is the Urban Decay. This is from uh, the collection that was the... Uh, I'm so... Let me find the, because there's one for each of the houses. I did not get the, the White Walker uh, one from the White Walkers. But anyway, it's each of the houses from Game of Thrones. Sorry. <laughs> so it's each of the houses from Game of Thrones. And these were nice lipsticks, but I, I do keep them for the the decoration of that. Um, okay, so, wow, that took a long time. Anyway, this is what we're dealing with now. Um, so this will go back in there. Um, I don't have a place for this guy yet. So, and it just does not, well, there it goes. It would fit in with lipsticks. Um, okay, so let's, we'll put it back into the, the lipstick category. Let me move it over here. Um, it's not going to show, so we're not going to see the prettiness of it, but at least it can live there for a while. Um, I'll need to figure out a place for these because they're formulation refer references. Um, these will go in my desk uh, because I, I'll use all of those. Um, and then we'll put all of this back up in its place. So anyway, I hope this was informational and useful and you had a good time. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.